Much Done by Neil Young, and I'm going to show you how to play it in this lesson video. I'm Jamie Anderson. Normally I would put the chord diagrams really big right in the video, but these chords are a little complicated because it's got a descending bass line. So I have put the chord diagrams with the uh, chords and the lyrics. You can download that from a link underneath this video. So here are the chords. There's a D, and there's a D with a C bass. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift up that middle finger and put it up here on the 3rd fret, 5th string. And then you're going to pick up both of these fingers, and your index finger is going to be on the 5th uh, string, 2nd fret. Okay, so that's the kind of a D with a B bass, but I'm cheating a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm moving that index finger down to the 1st fret to catch the B flat. And then it goes to C, and then F, E suspended 4. So an E suspended 4 is the same shape as an A, only you move it up one. So that means you're going to be on the 4th, uh, no wait, that means you're going to be on the 3rd, 4th, and 5th string. And then it resolves to the E, and there's this cool little riff, which I'll show you, alright? The strum I'm doing is down, up, down, up. But it's not a straight down, up with all the strings. So what I'm doing is, on the D, I'm going to demonstrate, and this is true for all the chords, I'm going to play just the top of the chord, maybe the first two or three strings, and then that's the short strum, down, up. And then I'm going to do a long strum, down, up, for all the strings of that chord. So for this D, I'm hitting the third and fourth string, down, up, and then I'm hitting all the strings of the D, so short, long, short, long. So if you sped it up, it would have kind of a chugging sound. So let me demonstrate on a C chord. So same thing. So it's a short strum at the top. So I'm only hitting, in this case, the fourth and the fifth string. And then I'm hitting all the rest of the strings on the long part. So short, long, short, long. And you speed it up. There's that chugging sound. Okay? All right. So the beginning of the song. The beginning of the song is mostly a D chord with a descending bass line. So you're going to play one measure of each one. So first it's the D. to the D with a C bass and pick up both of these fingers and go to the D with a B bass and then slide it down to the first string and then it goes to the C I want to get through a verse here. Here's a close-up of what my left hand is doing. especially this one right here. So just know that your second finger is staying out of the way and you may be playing kind of on the side of that third finger and that's okay. So play it with me from the beginning. I'm going to play it a little on the slow side. Here we go. Ready and...
Okay, so now I'm going to show you that riff that happens at the end of the verse. So uh, it sounds like this. Now I watched uh, several videos of Neil Young playing this, and he doesn't do it every time. It seems like he was doing it mostly in the earlier versions of the song, but who knows? I don't know him personally, so I couldn't ask him. <laughs> so what I'm playing here is this, this E, and I'm doing a hammer-on on the second fret on the fifth string. And then I'm sliding up on the fourth string from the second fret to the fourth fret, and then to the D. So it's... So let me play that again. Ready, and... Okay. So here it is from the beginning, including an intro. Just click on the link underneath here and you'll see the words and the chords. And remember that also includes the chord diagrams. Needle and the damage done. Hit the red subscribe button. Look around my YouTube channel. I teach a lot of things on the guitar. And I also have mandolin and ukulele lessons. If you want to know more about my original music, it's at jamieanderson.com. Thanks, everybody.